All right, we're here in uh, Grand Cayman uh, again, and we're going to do, we just landed here just, a, well, I don't know, an hour ago. We're going to do a quick uh, sunset tour, uh, sightseeing tour of the area. Let's get up in the air. What do you say? I think we're taking off from the wrong runway because the winds are from the east. But hey, roll with your punches, right? Airspeed's alive. Forty knots. If the winds are anything like they were when we got here, we got a hell of a tailwind right now. Sixty knots, that's plenty. Let's get up in the air. There we go. Whoa! Jesus, this thing's sensitive. Alright, let's just look around a little bit. What do you say? That airspeed up a little bit. A little uncomfortably lo slow right there. I'm so used to flying the longitude. I'm a little aggressive. 500 feet per minute and 60 knots, 70 knots. Let's get it up to 70 knots. Let's climb up to, oh, I don't know, 800 or 1,000 feet. Look out the window. Well, it's a beautiful evening. I really don't know anything about Grand Cayman in terms of what to look at. I just figured we'd fly around the island a little bit, get an idea about how big it is. Which is not very. that VFR map. I wonder where my hotel is. Oh, the moon. Hey, it's the... What is it? Every month it's different. I lose track. I think this is the snow moon. Oh, that's pretty cool, though, the moon. Trim us to a nice, gentle climb. I could use the autopilot, but where's the fun in that? Twelve hundred feet. Let's hold it steady at that. Eighty knots. Pretty solid. Trim us now a little bit so we stop climbing. Ah, come on. Jesus. I used my Thrustmaster. I've got it mapped for trim. One of the buttons mapped for trim up and trim down. But it still seems like it takes a hell of a lot to get it to respond. Probably should just use the... Too sensitive. It really is too sensitive. Now we're plunging down. I love the way the moon is reflecting off the water. Truly. Love it. Oh, the water. Oh, the water. Passenger view. There's the runway we just took off from in the wrong direction. This is nice. Grand Cayman. I, where my, I, I do wonder where my hotel is. I wonder where I'm st where where it is on this island. Oh, the moon is incredible. Holy cow. That is so sweet. Screenshot. Well, we're at a thousand feet now. Trim us a little bit more. That's yeah, better. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know what there is to see around here. I've never been to the Grand Caymans. I know nothing about it. My familiarity with the Grand Caymans is limited to the movie The Firm. 
anybody ever seen that movie, The Firm, with Gene Hackman and Tom Cruise, where they go to the Grand Caymans? That's about all I know. I think they stayed at the Hyatt in that movie. I don't know if that's actually there or not. Probably is. Head to due east along Grand Cayman. You can actually see it here. I think there's only one airport on the island. This is a little bit too bright for me. That's better. Still moving along here at a thousand feet. Looks good. City looks great. Can't tell if we're descending. Yeah, we were. Down to 800 feet. Should have turned off ATC. That was my mistake. Already five miles, no kidding. Flight following. I suppose I could activate the autopilot, but where's the fun of that, right? All right, well, anyway. I guess there's not much to see here. Make that right turn. This airplane is so sensitive. Or at least the controls are. That is a million dollar sunset right there. There's the runway. Well, this turned out to be a short trip. I guess there's not much to see in terms of, you know, dramatic, visual goodies, like Chichen Itza. But it's still fun. I love, I mean, I could go fly anywhere in this sim, I swear to God. You could put me anywhere. As long as I'm in the cockpit, it's, I'm having a good time. Let's go ahead and contact nearest airport and request full stop. Ooh, MWCB, Gerard Smith International. Have to look that up later. Roberts, full stop. Owen Roberts Tower says the November tree for tree Bravo whiskey is four miles east with Echo to land. Flaps are still down? Oh shit, that was my bad. Zero seven four at one seven, and they want us to land on runway two six. Can I select another? It's so stupid that they would have us land. Ah, that that actually nicely illustrates everything that's frustrating about the sim. All right, well here we go. Hold on. Oh, for God's sakes. Clear to land runway two six Cessna Tree Bravo Whiskey. Full flaps. This is one of the fun parts. <laughs> We're doing 140 knots and I just deployed the flaps. Two and two on the uh, poppy. One of the nice parts about flying the... Look at the water. God dang. About flying the uh, Cessna is that it's just so... It doesn't take any time to get set up for landing. It just slows down so fast and it's so docile. There we go. Get ready. 60 knots. There we go. All right. With our tailwind and all. All right, friends. Well, anyway, this is sort of a goofy video, but I figured I'd uh, just take her up. 
I want to I mentioned I wanted to start doing more of these uh, videos where we could go up in the Skyhawk and check things out and uh, you know it's it's a beautiful evening sunsets so we went for a little what eight minutes <laughs> eight minute flight I can't tell where the exit is you'd think the runway lighting would be more helpful in this regard I can't see buckus. Aha! I got a yellow line. There we go. Okay. Alright, that's that. Thanks for joining us for this silly little flight around Grand Cayman. Take care.